Hey there guys, how you doing? It's Drew here once again, and today is day number 1,162 review video of uh, my progress and stuff like that inside uh, S Group here. So yesterday's video, we did a big, huge, massive withdrawal, and then today, uh, this morning at, here, I'll actually go to S Wall, I'll show you guys this, because they did put out an update yesterday. I put it in our uh, um, chat group here, well, the updates channel thing. So they put out this announcement here yesterday that withdrawals would be a little bit slow throughout the day type thing like that. So I did get my withdrawal, guys. I got, because I did two withdrawals in yesterday's video. If we go here to uh, transactions, you can see uh, there's the withdrawal I did yesterday, the big huge ones, uh, 11400 there. There's the $55 one. So the $55 SGCT one, guys, it came like, basically right away like as i was editing the video it came um, as you can see there and then this one came the next day so there's the two withdrawals uh, from yesterday's video and then what i did was i sold them into uh, ethereum or no sorry very confused these this withdrawal here the swct i had another i don't know thousand 1200 or something like that in SWCT inside my wallet. So then I sent that. This is me sending it to my wife's wallet. So now that's inside my wife's wallet. You guys know that's what I do. So basically I do that so that I'm not showing like right now, she said there's 120 something thousand US in her wallet of SWCT. So if I was to just show that in every single video, it might like encourage some bad people out there to try and get inside of my S wallet. So that's why I always just send it to hers. So uh, also, this is what I did this morning, guys. As you can see, I've got the 1500 bucks in my uh, ShakePay wallet here. And as I said, this is what I'm using in Canada to send the funds to my bank. So uh, that's that there. So uh, basically what I did was I sold SGCT into Ethereum. I sold USDT into Ethereum. And you can see the numbers there. This is my profits from trading for the week. And then that's just uh, uh, commissions that I made through SGCT there. So that's that. And then it's in here. So actually in this video, guys, I'm going to record and we'll just jump into this right now. Um, I'll record sending this to my bank, even though it has nothing to do with Hess Group. But anyways, people like to see that kind of stuff, right? So I'm going to go send <clears throat> here and then an e-transfer. And I just send that all. And as I said in my yesterday's video, this is basically what I'm using to pay my credit card off. So like that. And I think my credit card's like 1200 bucks. And then this, I've got to block out because it's got my email and stuff for my bank account. Uh, and then I just uh, copy this, okay? So <clears throat> there's a security question here for the e-transfer. So I just copy that, save that on my desktop. <coughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> okay, and there's that. That's all sent off now. And if I go back to Waltz, it says zero in there. And I can just simply go and you know, close this page here. Okay. So we'll shoot on over here. Let's, uh, I guess we don't need S wallet open anymore. So we'll just close it and then we'll finish this video off. We'll just go to investments. Oh, there's the commission I made yesterday. Um, not that much about 18 bucks or so. So we'll go over here to investments and we'll add up how much I made through the investments last night. Okay, so uh, the prime in, or optimal investment there did so pretty good last night. The optimal one pool did really good, 0 0.71. And then this guy here did 0 0.62. So, you know, some nice days for optimal last night. So we'll copy this, go over here. So this is going to be interesting for you guys to see this. And some people might actually learn something in this video today is this here. Okay. So if you notice this, look at this, this investment here is $46,940. This investment here is $50,000. This one's 50,000 as well. But look at this $50,000 investment made $263. The 46,900 made $271. So it actually made like almost like 10 bucks more, right? but it's a smaller investment. So the reason behind that is because if you look at the monthly income balance here, it's $263 because that was the balance we withdrew yesterday in yesterday's video. This was zero in yesterday's video, right? So it 
it didn't earn off its monthly income balance, right? Because you got to think the monthly income balance till it gets transferred up to here to your available balance, guys, like once a month, right? It earns because it's actually in the trading, right? It's being traded on. So it's earning there, okay? So that's why this one earned about $10 more, even though the investment uh, amount is like, you know, four thousand dollars or th or or three thousand dollars less, okay, is because it has forty nine hundred dollars up here in the monthly income balance, which is still earning. Okay, so this one's on day number ninety two. So probably tonight, this monthly income balance is going to move up here, and then I'll you know do the same thing. I'll send that to my S wallet, send it to my wife's S wallet, and then add it to our um, holdings there. Right? Okay. So I just wanted to go over that because I do have the odd time people comment in the video description like, oh, why is, you know, why did you earn more off this investment than this one? You know, it all depends on your monthly income balance, right? So, it, uh, you know, the once a month withdrawal guys is actually better than once a week withdrawal. Like in prime investment, it's once a week, right? The withdrawal, or I shouldn't say withdrawal, the balance transfer, right? But in all the other investments that deal with Forex, they're once a month. So you end up actually earning more if you do once a month withdrawal. <coughs> you know, and that would really add up. Like you think about it, this here one day made like $8 more, right? Than this one here. And this one's uh, much more money. So imagine, you know, the last week of the month, it would make like $100 more, right? Like say, for instance, this one here, the monthly income balance was at zero. And this one here is on its last week of the 30-day cycle. This one's going to make like a, a, over $100 more than this one throughout the week, if you think about it that way, right? So a lot of people don't think about that. And they're like, oh, you know, but I want a once a week withdrawal <laughs> kind of thing. And you really have to think about things. You're actually going to make more money if you do once a month. Okay. So uh, five, uh, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, uh, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. We'll go 57. We won't count that. And then, uh, we'll just, we'll add these up together there. Okay. So 57 for, um, all those little guys and then 20, 29, and then we'll go 30. Cause that's, you know, 25 cents and 94 cents. So we'll just say 30 there plus 30. And then, you know, we'll, we'll be off by like, I don't know, probably five to 10 cents. So that's uh, eight hundred and eighty four dollars USD there last night in optimal. Okay. Which is my biggest investment in here. And then if we shoot on over here to pro normally this one makes like 50, 60 bucks a day here because I just have like 15,000 or something. No, I got 10,000. Okay. So this guy last night had a lower day. So 0 0.47. Normally this is the highest earning one is the pro. Uh, so we got uh, three. So we'll go seven, eight, nine, 10, uh, 19, we'll say there, because that's almost nine bucks. Uh, and then 18. <clears throat> so we'll go 19 plus... 18 is 37. Yeah, so it was a bit of a lower day. Plus 37. Plus. Boop, 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 S4X. So this is the lowest earnings one. But I have 54K in there. After the audit, guys, I'm going to move my S4X investment into S Wallet. But I'll sell it into SGCT. And then I'm going to go and invest the 50K. So I'll make it 50K. So whatever it's going to cost me to get it into the S wallet and then uh, uh, exchange in there and that type of thing, guys, I'm going to uh, put it up to 50K. So I'll 50K in SGCT. And then I'm going to invest 50K in the prime investment. Ah, oh, this cough. Okay. So let's get going here. Enough of me going blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I did some blah, blah, blah for 22 minutes here. <laughs> it's, it's way too long. So, uh, 
we'll finish adding this up. So uh, 132, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and then 38. So 138 for that guy. Oh, no, we're over here. 130. Oh, wait a minute. Where's, where's my stuff? Okay, it's 37. Did I even do this yet? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, put this over here. <clears throat> okay, plus 37. Plus 138. Okay. And then that's it. Right? We did, yeah, one, two, three. And then we don't count these because it's not enough money to be like, oh, look, I made a dollar. Okay. <clears throat> 1,059 bucks USD to see it because I'm in Canada. I don't really care about US dollar. I, I want to make US dollar, but I don't care to know how much it is. Another cough attack. Sorry, guys. There's going to be a lot of that in these videos because uh, every uh, uh, fall and spring, I get really sick. Actually, I'm going to talk about this. Why am I always sick? Um, because someone actually, did, they didn't ask. Uh, here, I'll show you. It is actually pretty funny. <clears throat> they didn't ask why are you always sick, but this guy here, um, you know, one month cold, what the heck's going on kind of thing. And then take some, uh, you know, take some drugs and you'll be okay type thing, guys. That's not really the case for me. I actually have a problem with my lungs and stuff. If you guys remember my videos from about two years ago, uh, they actually thought I had lung cancer, um, but it wasn't. It was just really a bunch of scars on my lungs. So I'll talk about that a little bit in this video, just because I think some people will find that interesting because it'll answer the question, why does Drew always sound like he's sick? Or why does he kind of look sick sometimes and stuff like that? Uh, and it's it's really weird because like for a living, like I talk and stuff, like that's what these videos are, is how I make a living basically through commissions and stuff, guys. Um, it's, it's kind of strange because I actually have a hard time talking and, and stuff like that. I can't like run long distances. I, I get out of breath really, really fast. Like when I ski, I have to stop all the time. I ski almost every single day in the winter. Like today after this video, I'm, I'm going to edit it and then I'm going skiing, downhill skiing. So when I was a baby, a little, like really little baby, like I basically came out, you know, was born. And then within the first two months, I got whooping cough. So whooping cough um, back in the olden days, right? Kids used to die from it. Luckily, I was born in the 80s. And, you know, we had the vaccines and all this kind of stuff for whooping cough. So like little babies, you know, it was, they still died from it and stuff like that. Um, but it was more rare for a baby to die of whooping cough in the 80s. So I was born in 1980, right? And uh, yeah, so anyways, I had whooping cough. I had it for about half a year and it totally ruined because, you know, I was a baby. I was growing and stuff like that. So it totally ruined my lungs. I was on like, you know, the life support stuff and, and all that stuff. And I was in an incubator and all that kind of stuff, guys, when I was a baby. And yeah, they pumped me with antibiotics and my immune system is trash. Uh, I get sick. If someone is around me, I get sick, basically. Like if someone in the household is sick, I get sick. Uh, if someone is sick, even outside beside me, I'll get sick. Uh, so it's really hard because as you guys know, like I have an eight year old kid and what are eight year old kids like runny nose all the time. <laughs> like as soon as they go to school, they're like, they have something, they pick up something. So that's why I'm sick all the time, guys, is because my kid brings stuff home. Um, you know, I live in Canada. It's a cold climate. This is one of the reasons why I want to leave, but my, my wife wants to stay in Canada. Uh, is because, you know, we have cold climate and in the fall and the spring, people get sick in Canada. Like a lot of people get sick around those times. Like, you know, you go to schools and half the kids are sick. So yeah, I, I'm always sick guys and it, it sucks, but you know, I get used to it and stuff like that. So if you notice in the summer, I might be sick sometimes, but not as sick as I am in the winter. And yeah, I don't know guys, I thought I would uh, let you in on that because it is kind of weird. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Every 10th video I watch of this guy, he's sick <laughs> kind of thing. And his voice is messed up or something. That's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go watch this one. It's going to help you out, guys. The big idea, S-Group Marketing 2024. Okay, so that's it. See you. Bye-bye.